Good morning, everyone. Hope it's a beautiful day to start our learning. Chandini Views welcomes you all to the online class. Now let's begin our session with word of the day. And today's word is waggy. So what does waggy mean? So waggy means humorous. So whenever you find you know so a person you know very humorous or very naughty you can use the word waggy to describe them you can say he's waggy he's a waggy person okay so with that we can begin our session this is for class two subject english lesson number four topic good manners hi everyone how are you all hope you are all fine with good health my name is mr sendal kumaran i'm the principal of chandini view school today we are going to learn about good manners let me tell you the good manners by story now we can go to our school this is our school tandini views look at the school there are many students in the compound they are jumping they are running they are shouting it is recess time for children and you can see in the picture they are all playing they are laughing they are making a lot of noise they are crowding the school shop they are pushing and cursing at each other so do you think that is a good thing do you think you know pushing people they you know uh, cursing people do you think that is a good thing one boy is peeling a banana and he is eating it and throwing its skin on the path and what happens when you know when you eat a banana and you know throw the peel on the floor so that is going to make the floor slippery and who, whoever is going to step on it is going to fall so do you think that is a good habit whenever you peel a banana what you have to do you have to throw it in a dustbin another boy is drinking water from his water bottle he is pouring the water on the floor do you think pouring water on the floor is a good thing to do it's going to be it's going to make people fall right you can do such things for fun a girl is plucking the flowers children are standing across the teachers room they are blocking the passage of the teachers all of them are speaking and shouting and at the top of their voice can see how messy the classroom is they are you know doing as they wish they are speaking they are shouting that's going to create a lot of noise sensitivity i was watching all those things i was calling all the students why are you behaving like this Don't you know that you are coming here to learn good manners the students are looking at the principal they are listening to him carefully you are making noise not talking politely you are not behaving gently you are standing across the corridor 
You are crowding the compound. You are playing here. All these are not good manners. You should know how to behave. You should not shout. You must stand in a line when you are getting into the school bus. You should come out of the class one by one. You must not speak unless when you are asked to speak. You must greet the teachers. You have listened to the teachers. You should say thanks whenever you receive something. While you are waiting in a queue, it is wise to observe rules, but what are you doing? You are breaking the queue. You are pushing and tossing the people. You are talking loudly and rudely. You are not respecting elders. You are not following minimum rules. Thank you or please does not cost you anything. Are you saying so? Remember, good manners live, reveal our character. They help to gain friends. They make you better. Now the bell is ringing. Breaking any of the above rules attract punishment. Go to your classes in a queue. The student says, thank you, sir. We follow the rules. We will behave well from today, said the students. With this story, we have learned about good manners. Let's, let me list out them in a full view. Good manners. So, we heard the conversation between the principal and the students of the Chandini views, right? And what were they talking about? They were talking about good manners. Why should you learn good manners? Good manners is going to get you good character and it is going to tame you for life. Okay, so good manners are always essential and you should follow it in the school. So the first thing is that you have to pray with folded hands in the assembly. So whenever the assembly is organized, what do you have to do? You have to pray with your folded hands. What is the spelling for assembly? A-S-S-E-M-B-L-Y, assembly. You have to stand up to greet your teacher, those who enter in the class. So what is the second thing that you have to do? You have to respect your teacher. You have to stand up and then you have to greet them. Okay, what is the spelling for greet? G-R-E-E-T, greet. And now you can see two pictures here. And the first one, you know, the children there, they are praying with their hands folded. And in the second picture, you can see that the students are standing up for the teacher to greet. Take permission of your teacher before you enter in the class. So whenever you move from one class to another, you should always ask the permission of the teacher before you entering into it. Listen to the teacher attentively in the classroom. So whenever you are in the classroom and whenever the teacher is teaching, you should listen carefully okay you should be attentive you should be answerable you should be interactive you have to give your 100 percent focus there okay and what is the spelling for teacher t-e-a-c-h-e-r teacher and you know raise your hands for permission if you want to reply or ha have any question to ask so whenever you have any question or whenever you want to answer what you have to do you have to raise up your hands and then the teacher will call you your name only then you have to respond okay what is the spelling for permission P E R M I yes yes i o n permission 
pay attention what your teacher and the parents discuss about your studies and behavior so whenever there's this uh, peer teachers meeting or whenever they give you a report card you should listen closely to what your parents and the teachers are saying you should rectify your mistakes you should upgrade yourself okay so pay attention to it what is the spelling for attention a t t e n t i o n attention We should take permission of the teacher for drinking water or going for the restroom. So whenever you are in the class and whenever your teacher is teaching, what should you do? You should always take her or his permission to drink water or, you know, or to move to your restroom. You should always ask the permission. What is the spelling for permission? P-E-R-M-I-S-S-I-O-N, -S -S permission. And you should always use magical words like thank you and sorry to everyone. So whenever, you know, you feel grateful or whenever someone helps you, you have to tell thank you. And, you know, you should be sorry if you find yourself kitly or if you have done something wrong, you have to tell sorry. What is the spelling for thank you? T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U, thank you. Sorry. S O R R Y, sorry. Respect the teachers and the elders. You should always respect your teachers and your elders. What is the spelling for teachers? T E A C H E R S, teachers. You should always wish good morning, good afternoon to all your elders and teachers. Always complete your homework assigned by the school. So you should, whenever you see uh, maybe uh, the elders or the teachers coming into your class, what should you do? You should stand up and you have to greet them. If it is morning, say good morning. If it is afternoon, say good afternoon to your teachers and the elders there. What is the spelling for afternoon? A F T E R N O O N afternoon. What is the spelling for homework? H O M E W O R K homework. Now we have certain school rules that we are going to learn about. The first rule is that you should not push a desk and a bench in the classroom. So whenever the benches and the desks are arranged, you should not move them. You should not push them. Make sure that they remain in the place. Okay. And what is the spelling for desk? D-E-S-K desk. Share your things with your classmates. So whenever your classmate is in need of a pencil, of an eraser, or anything, what should you do? You should share your things with them. Sharing is caring, okay? What is the spelling for classmates? C-L-A-S-S-M-A-T-E-S, -S -S -E classmates. And you should always play carefully in the playground. You should always play carefully in the playground, okay? You should not get hurt or you should not fall down. Spelling for playground. P-L-A-Y-G-R-O-U-N-D. Playground. Don't make noise and stand in the corridor. You should never stand in the corridor and, you know, create noise. Okay? That is impolite. What is the spelling for noise? N-O-I-S-E. Noise. Don't stand or walk in the corridor. It may disturb others. You should you should not stand in the corridor unnecessarily or walk in the corridor unnecessarily. So it can disturb others. Okay. So what is the spelling for walk? W A L K walk. And don't damage the school properties. You should not damage the school properties because they're all expensive, right? Yes. What is the spelling for damage? D A M A G E damage. Don't throw the papers in the classroom. Should You should keep your classroom spick and span always. You should not keep throwing up the papers or anything in the classroom, okay? Spelling for throw. T-H-R-O-W, throw. Now 
all the waste paper or things in the dustbin so whenever you have a, a waste paper or something you should not you know keep it on the floor you should throw it on the dustbin okay in break time when you go out fold your hands back and go in line so whenever you are you know walking in the line here you should always fold your hands back don't pluck any flowers from the school garden you should never pluck the flowers from the school garden what is the spelling for dustbin d u s t b i n dustbin okay flowers f l o w e r s flowers We should wear only neat and clean dresses to your school. Okay, you should not come with untidy clothes. You should always keep them clean. Neat, N-E-A-T, neat. Dresses, D-R-E-S-S-E-S, -S -E -S, dresses. Make sure that you come to school on time. You should be always punctual. If you're going by school bus, be ready on time to the bus stop. So whenever you're coming to school, you should make sure that you're on time on the bus stop. What is the spelling for bus stop? B-U-S-S-T-O-P, bus stop. Do not copy or cheat anyone in any way. You should not copy in your exam. That is a very bad, you know, attitude. Okay, you should never copy or cheat. You should be honest. We should not destroy the school desk and you should not destroy the school desk. You should not do, you know, scribbling, you know, playing, you know, breaking, okay, any of those happening with the desk. Do not write on the desk, as he said. Do not fight or misbehave with your friends in the school. You should always have a friendly environment at school. So never fight or never misbehave. What is the spelling for misbehave? M-I-S-B-E-H-A-V-E, -E, misbehave. Don't make noise in the class. You should always maintain silence in the class. You should never make the noise. Do not shout in the classroom. You should not, you know, shout in the classroom. When you go out from the classroom, don't stand near the corridor and make the crowd. You should always move in a single line and you should not interrupt the crowd. You should always obey rules. So we should always obey the rules and the regulation of the school. Don't miss, you know, behave in the class. If you misbehave, they will be dismissed for a week. So you should not do any of the misbehavioral attitude in the class or else you will be dismissed from for a week. You'll be given holiday for a week and you will not be allowed in the class. That is a very strict action. And that is not a good, um, you know, good impression as well. Okay, you should always obey the rules. What is the spelling for regulations? R-E-G-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-S, regulations, classroom, C-L-A-S-S-R-R-O-O-M, classroom. We should respect all our teachers and pay attention to follow the directions. Okay, you should always respect your teachers. Above all are the rules and regulations that are given in our school. We must obey that. And if you're not obeying, they will be giving punishment to the students like standing out of the classroom. So you should follow all the regulations that are listed above. You should be a good child in your school. You should follow the rules and regulation. If you don't follow the rules and regulation, you will be dismissed, OK? What is the spelling for regulation? R-E-G-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-S, regulations. Hope you understood. You must follow these rules strictly. Understand, children? Do you have any doubts? Okay, children. See you in the next class. Take care. Bye. Thank you.